Hi viewers, in this video we are going to discuss the cost of goods sold for a manufacturing company. In a manufacturing company, we are buying the raw material and by putting the overheads and labor on this raw material, we are converting this raw material into finished goods. Like what's going on? Say you have the raw material. Say we are into furniture manufacturing industry and the main raw material we have wood. We apply the direct labor and manufacturing overhead on this wood and we convert it into final product, which can be chairs, which can be table, which can be a bed. So different products we can have that we call as our finished product. So this is actually we are doing in a manufacturing concern. We usually have three kinds of inventories in a manufacturing concern, raw material inventory, work in process inventory and finished goods inventory. Partly completed goods we consider as work in process inventory. Say we have furniture company at the end of the month a uh, few tables or chairs are ready structure wise ready but not yet polished so this will consider under the category of work in process those tables or chairs which are ready for shipping to our customers we define as finished goods and say we have wood to fulfill the next orders so this will come under raw material Students, now you have to understand the formula for calculating the cost of goods sold in a manufacturing company and after that we will just make a practice for one question. So let us start from the formula, which formula we have to use. But before going to the formula, although I have explained these terminologies in another video, but let me give you the quick review. What is the meaning of direct materials? What is the meaning of direct labor and manufacturing overhead? Students, so uh, the cost, either it is direct material or direct labor, overall we consider it as direct cost. See, the material is direct material if it is traceable on per unit basis. Mean to say, we have exact idea how much spending we are doing for one unit of product. So, on the basis of traceability, we are defining it as direct material. So in case of furniture, the best example for direct material you have wood. So we are making one table and for one table, we will have exact measurement how much wood we are going to use. But there are certain materials for which we will not have the exact measurement. Like you are doing the polish, say you use 10 buckets of polish uh, just to polish the 100 tables. So here on average basis, you have the quantity, but you don't have the exact quantity for one table. So those materials which are not traceable on per unit basis, we define as indirect materials and different kind of indirect costs we categorize in manufacturing overhead. So I hope that you are clear about direct materials. In the same way, direct labor students, a worker which is directly working on the table whose wages or salaries traceable on per unit basis, we define as direct labor. Say we have a supervisor in the department who is supervising the activities for all the laborers. Uh, so the salary of the supervisor will come under indirect cost or indirect labor because the salary of supervisor not traceable on per unit basis. So in manufacturing overhead, you can have, have different kind of indirect costs like indirect labor, you can have utilities, you can have depreciation, you can have insurance, you can have rent. There can be a long list in manufacturing overhead. So now students, we are in a position to go for the formula of cost of goods sold. See, in order to calculate the cost of goods sold in a manufacturing company, what you need to do as a first step, you need to calculate the direct material consume how we calculate beginning inventory of raw material 
plus purchases during the period minus ending materials inventory we get the direct material consume so here you will not forget the previous lesson which i explained you in the previous video any kind of direct cost related to the purchases you have to add here in the purchases uh, the time you have direct material use in production in this one you add direct labor cost you add manufacturing overhead like that you get the total manufacturing cost so the sum of these three elements actually giving you total manufacturing cost in this one students you have to add beginning work in process and you subtract the ending work in process you get the cost of goods manufactured from cost of goods manufactured you have to adjust the finished goods inventory you add beginning and you subtract the closing and like that you reach to the cost of goods sold so this is the formula to calculate the cost of goods sold as you know that in our exam we have the multiple choice questions so he cannot give you the complete calculation for for the cost of goods sold he is just asking you few parts so what he will do uh, what kind of question he can give you let us take a look we will solve one question for better understanding Yes, friends. We are going to solve this question. It's saying, given the following data for a company, what is cost of goods sold? We have beginning inventory for finished goods. We have cost of goods manufactured. We have ending inventory of finished goods, beginning in inventory for work in process, and ending inventory for work in process. So, what we have to do here? We have to calculate the cost of goods sold. so he just has to design the question as per the available time so let me show you the formula one more time so the question which we just read now what he did in that question instead of asking you to make all the calculations he directly gave you this figure like in our question he already gave you the cost of goods manufactured he also gave you beginning inventory of finished goods and closing inventory of finished goods so by just adjusting these two figures in in over cost of goods manufactured you can easily calculate the cost of goods sold like how we can go here you can see that already he gave us cost of goods manufactured we can write it as a short form cgm cgm we already have 700000 as per the formula like you will try to memorize the formula you just need to add beginning inventory of finished goods which we have 100000 and you will subtract ending inventory of finished goods from this amount see ending inventory of finished goods we have how much 200000 so like that your answer will be 600000 so you notice that he cannot give you the complete cost of goods sold question he can give you only parts in between things he can give you so the main focus you have to do on the formula Uh, just make sure that you are fully clear about the formula for cost of goods sold we'll upload another video for the practice question of cost of goods sold thank you very much